You've seen Squarespace website commercials, right? Promising the best website builder for creatives. Let's check those claims and make Squarespace tutorial. But instead of just saying how to build a Squarespace website, how about we actually go on a journey and actually build one ourselves? Just like the one you're seeing right now. Now, before starting this Squarespace website tutorial, we of course need to create a free account here. The trial will last for around 14 days and you can't publish your creation with it. You can do that or you can jump straight ahead with a premium plan by using our best and most up-to-date deals in the description down below. Okay. A thing that Squarespace does a bit backwardly is that you have to choose a template already before even registering an account. I usually just pick any theme, register, and then start creating a website from there. Let's first talk about website templates, since it's kind of the main selling point of Squarespace. And to be fair, they have all the right to brag about them. These are very modern and stylish looking designs, especially if you're looking to build a portfolio or an e-commerce website. This is your main dashboard, and Squarespace makes sure that everything your business or personal website might need is in one easy-to-navigate menu. You need analytics? It's right here. Do you want to launch some marketing campaigns? Just go to Marketing. These are all extras that you can spend more time on once your site is finished. So for this tutorial, we need first to establish some global settings for our entire design. In the Design tab and then Site Styles. First, go to Fonts and pick the ones you'd like to use. Then go to Colors and here you can edit your main design colors. When adding new colors, the best thing to do is use any free color wheel to make sure that colors don't just fight with each other. The last thing, every element on Squarespace can actually be animated from here. Just choose how you want this animation to play out and its speed. I'll go for a medium fade in. If we go to custom CSS in the design tab here, just paste the code snippet I've left in the description below. And that's literally it. You should see a full site gradient and if you want other colors or settings, I'll also leave a link to the site that generates the gradient code itself. When we have our design settings fully done, let's start editing the structure of our new website. And of course, we start with the top, header and Squarespace navigation. Click here to edit it. Now choose this option to upload your image or just use the title of your site. I'll go for a logo. Next, I'll go to Elements and make sure that the cart and social media icons are active. Oh, and let's not forget to add links to your social accounts here. You can also change your header style, but that's kind of it. Going down a bit, I'll remove this background image by going to the Edit section. There we go. And then background. Instead of it, I want to have multiple photos. The first one I'll upload from my PC, just like that. Squarespace allows you to create shapes from images like the ones on the screen. To see them, go to design, then select shape and choose one from here. While not a massive selection of shapes, this feature allows you to come up with truly interesting designs. Another feature of Squarespace we're going to use is integration with free image platforms. You can search and import images without leaving the editor. I wanted something to do with, you know, computers or cyber. So what I've done, I've added a few image elements, added the images that I found to fit, and then changed the shape of the image itself. What's left is to drag this all to the right side and we have a really nice looking top of our website. This section is going to be a bit shorter since Squarespace has lots of different elements as well as sections for you to add. But all those elements don't have a lot of Squarespace customization options, which makes it really straightforward and even without experience, you can craft a complex looking design. Every section has the same basic settings if we click this edit section button. Here you can change height, alignment, and backgrounds. 
The last part of our Squarespace web design is the footer. There are not a lot of things to edit here, just change the text a bit, then remove these extra menus and social media links, and make sure all the text here is what I want. The final thing here is to add a background. I'm going to use the free stock image, maybe uh, this one. And that's a bit too colorful now. Uh, I'll move this slider to make the whole background darker. Just like that. We can scroll through our entire website to relish our creation. Lovely, isn't it? Overall, every page that you'll want to edit next will follow the same principles that we've just talked about here. So you shouldn't have any problems with that. But I need to show you how to manage pages. Go to the main menu, the pages. If you want to rearrange things, just click on the page name and drag it. If you hover on the page name, you can delete it with this little icon on the side. If you want to add a new page, for example, or a link, just click this plus. Squarespace allows you to add drop-down menus, blank pages, portfolios, or blogs. I won't go into details about adding a blog. It's a very, very straightforward system, and you edit your post the same way you would edit on any other page. Of course, what business site is complete without e-commerce? Luckily, Squarespace e-commerce is really easy. Go back to the main menu, choose Commerce, and you should see a startup guide. Click Inventory and edit already existing products. You can sell quite a few different things, physical products, downloads, gift cards, or even memberships. Again, Squarespace help has hints along the entire way. It should be rather smooth sailing. Well, well. Now that we're just the two of us left, I have a secret to share. If you like this video and subscribe to the Cyber News YouTube channel, you'll receive the ultimate knowledge. Okay, maybe not the ultimate, but you'll stay updated about all things hosting and tech related. And so our website is finito. It looks pretty sleek and it just took us, what, a couple of hours. By the way, don't forget to check how the site actually works with the link in the description. Overall, Squarespace excels at beautiful templates and extra marketing tools. Even after your designs are done, you can still improve your business or personal project. Thank you for your time on this Squarespace tutorial for beginners. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below. If you want to see another great video from us, you can click right about here. For anyone else, I hope your new website gets lots of visitors, and I'll see you all later.